Shots ring out in a local neighborhood. The latest on the search for a person who attacked parked cars in La Mesa. And the stage is set for the next Republican presidential debate. Who made the cut and who didn't? The KUSI News at 11 starts right now. This is the KUSI News at 11. Good evening and welcome. I'm Lauren Finney. And I'm Ross Becker. Thank you for joining us. You know, 14 years ago, we, we all went to bed. And when we awoke, the world had changed. America had been attacked. Remember, it was September 11, 2001. And we're getting confirmation tonight of a tragedy on base at Camp Pendleton. A Marine is dead. He was killed in a training accident today. It was a crash of a truck early this afternoon on Bassalone Road and forced road closures in the area. The Marine... Uh, the Marine Corps, rather, says 18 other Marines were hurt when the seven ton, as they called it, rolled over. It's not clear how serious all the injuries are. The Marine who was killed has not yet been identified. The Marines are still trying to notify the victim's family. No word yet on a cause. Someone shot up several parked cars in La Mesa overnight. This happened on Parks Avenue. Several people heard the gunshots. They called 911, and when officers got there, they found three cars that were hit by these bullets. So far, no arrests. But this is a Crime Stoppers case. And whoever's randomly shooting at drivers along a Phoenix freeway has struck again. That's 11 shootings now in two weeks. The latest one this morning when authorities found a bullet hole in that commercial truck. Arizona's governor is urging people to stay alert and share any potential information about the shootings with the State Department of Public Safety. So far, though, no one's been seriously injured in this uh, mysterious set of shootings. Well, they are called cold case detectives. They are highly skilled investigators who specialize in cracking unsolved murder cases, homicides in some cases, going back many decades. And don't be surprised if your San Diego gas and electric bill looks a little different this month. SDG&E is changing the look of its customer billing. Instead of a four-tiered electric rate structure, you will now see three tiers. By spring, SDG&E will reduce that structure to two tiers. The company says the new model will be easier for customers to understand the bills. Ross? All right, Mark, thank you. Well, the White House wants to bring in more Syrian refugees. Still ahead on the KUSI News at 11, we'll have the details on President Obama's plan to try to help the crisis developing in Europe. Scientists have made a surprising discovery. You're watching the KUSI News at 11. Welcome back here at 11 o'clock. President Obama says he wants to allow 10,000 Syrian refugees into the United States in the coming budget year. About 1,500 migrants from Syria have already been admitted to the U.S. since the Civil War broke out more than four years ago. The U.S. has accepted the fewest Syrian refugees worldwide, but the U.N. says America has given the largest share of financial aid to help the re uh, refugee crisis. That is more than $574 million. Uh, the president has directed his team uh, in the next fiscal year. Obviously, the number was the number of refugees. The 2016 budget year begins October 1st. And some more fighting on Capitol Hill today over the Iran nuclear deal. The House passed a resolution claiming President uh, Obama broke the law because he didn't provide Congress with details on so-called side deals. But the House action won't prevent the Iran agreement from going through. That's because Democrats blocked the Republican resolution on the Senate floor. So the president won't have to use a veto to get approval of the deal. The vote on the procedural motion to move the final vote failed 58 to 42. It needed 60 votes to pass. Leading Clinton in New Hampshire now. Now on the Republican side, it's going to heat up again soon. A little surprise tonight. 11 contenders, not 10, are going to now share the stage at next week's Republican presidential debate at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley. And here they are, the big surprise, last-minute addition. Carly Fiorina will be there. Fiorina attracted criticism, as we heard, from fellow Republican presidential candidate and frontrunner Donald Trump, who, uh, as you also heard, doesn't seem to think she has what it takes to be president. But that didn't affect her numbers in a negative way, of course. Those who didn't make the cut for the main debate will hold their own debate uh, at an earlier time, just an hour earlier. The de uh, debate is next Wednesday night at the Reagan Library and uh, KUSI. In fact, I'm going to be there live. We'll have live reports from there on that GOP debate. So Homo naledi may have lived tens of thousands of years ago or possibly even millions of years ago. 
I have my own theory. I think they're the bones of the first meteorologist ever. <laughs> Ever. Well, I, had no. they had suggested that so? it was a male or a female, I had a whole slew of jokes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy. So glad we didn't go no there. No bones about it. We, we, exactly. Okay. When you said, when you oh, said that they do some uh, human activity, I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know. here we go. <gasps> All right, right, here we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a look at your weather. All right, stay cool again tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Mark. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hey, uh, coming up in sports, the uh, 2015 with Lance and his dogs oh, any yeah. day of the week. Heck yeah. Bet and probably could. have a lot of fun. Uh, Tough work. Right. Thank you. Thank you. One of the biggest tech companies in the world wants to do something here. They wants to build a super fast network in San Diego. Still ahead on the KUSI News at 11, how Google might change the way you'll surf the Internet.